Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 terrifying facts about the dinosaurs. Number 10. The Apatosaurus's tail could break the sound barrier. The Apatosaurus, which lived from about 155 to 159 million years ago, is commonly called a Brontosaurus, even though there is no such thing as a Brontosaurus. The mix updates all the way back to 1877, when the first Apatosaurus Ajax fossil was found by American paleontologist Othaniel C. Marsh. The first bones he found were juvenile bones, and when he found adult Apatosaurus bones in 1879, he thought it was a new species and he called it Brontosaurus excelsus. However, after a re-examination of the bones in 1903, it was concluded that the Apatosaurus and the Brontosaurus were the same species, and the older name would take precedent. However, by the time the error was discovered, the Brontosaurus was one of the most famous species of dinosaurs, so the incorrect name stuck. The Apatosaurus was so famous because of its amazing size. They were about 70 to 75 feet long, so just imagine a seven-story building turned on its side. They weighed close to 20 tons, making them one of the biggest land animals in the entire history of the Earth. One interesting feature they had was their long tail that they used like a bullwhip. According to computer calculations, they could whip their tail so fast that it broke the sound barrier, creating a sonic boom. This would have made a cannon-like boom that would have been heard for miles. While it wasn't an effective weapon, it would have been used as a warning or a way to scare potential predators. They also would have stomped their feet on the ground, and if this didn't crush attackers, the tail whip and the stomping would have made a lot of chaotic noise, hopefully scaring off any potential predators. Number 9. Ankylosaurus's club tail could break a T-Rex's ankles Ankylosauruses were herbivores that lived about 122 million years ago and went extinct about 66 million years ago. The Ankylosaurus was often potential prey for big predators like a T-Rex, but luckily they developed several different defensive traits. One of them was they had bony armor plates that covered their body, and the second was that they had a powerful clubbed tail. This was one of their most useful weapons. It was made of tightly interlocking vertebrae, and at the end there was a bony ball. With smaller tails, which were most likely found on younger Ankylosauruses, it would have hit its predators with the same amount of force as a bowling ball. However, bigger tails could have struck blows that were somewhere between 364 and 718 megapascals of impact stress, which is powerful enough to break a T-Rex's ankle. Breaking an ankle could have been a serious problem for the T-Rex because it's not like they had medical professionals that could have helped them. If they could walk after the blow, their mobility could have been severely limited until it healed. If that's the case, hopefully Ankylosaurus meat was a delicacy for the T-Rex because they sound like a lot of work to eat. Number 8. The T-Rex of the South was a cannibal to some people, it may not be shocking that the dinosaurs were cannibals. After all, they were carnivorous animals that needed a lot of food to sustain themselves, so one dinosaur eating another dinosaur of the same species must have happened all the time, right? Well, the dinosaurs lived for 65 million years, and amazingly, there is only one confirmed case of dinosaur cannibalism. If you compare that figure to humans, who have only spent about 0.003% of the amount of time on Earth as the dinosaurs, one case of cannibalism is nothing. For example, there were at least two cases of cannibalism in Florida in 2016. The confirmed case of dinosaur cannibalism involved the Majungasaurus, which lived in Madagascar from 70 to 66 million years ago, and they were considered the T-Rex of the Southern Hemisphere. They were about 8 feet tall, 23 feet long, weighed anywhere between a ton and a ton and a half, and they were the biggest predator living in the area at the time. This is why when researchers found the bones of a Majungasaurus with big serrated teeth marks in it, they concluded it had to come from another Majungasaurus, because there wasn't another predator large enough to leave them. That finding suggests that, for unknown reasons, one Majungasaurus ate another. Number 7. The Triceratops was a herbivore you didn't want to mess with The Triceratops horridus, which means three-horned face, was a herbivore, but it still wasn't an animal you'd want to come across. They were 10 feet tall, 30 feet long, and they weighed 4 to 6 tons. While that is somewhat hard to visualize, something to give you a comparison is African elephants, which are the biggest living land animal. They are about 8 to 13 feet tall, at most 25 feet long, and they weigh about 5 to 7 tons. So a triceratops was comparable in size to a mid-sized elephant. Of course, the triceratops' most notable feature is its three horns. There were two above the eyes and one above their mouth. When a triceratops reached adulthood, the horns were three feet long and curved upwards. It was used to fight with other triceratopses over mates and territory. However, they were also used to fight off the apex predator that lived at the same time as them, the T-Rex. Evidence that they would have been able to fend off a T-Rex was that a Triceratops fossil had a healed wound from a T-Rex bite, suggesting the Triceratops was able to fight off the dominant predator and lived long enough after the encounter for the bite to heal. Number 6. How Big Was Big? 
Dinosaurs had a rather large range in terms of size. The smallest known dinosaur, the Compsarchthonus, was about the size of a chicken. On the other side of the scale was the Argentinosaurus. Amazingly, these two ends of the spectrum lived in the same time period as each other, which was about 94 to 97 million years ago. The Argentinosaurus not only holds the record for the biggest dinosaur, but it also is the heaviest and longest land creature to ever live. Despite being so massive, the Argentinosaurus started off small. Their eggs were about the size of coconuts, and when they were born, they weighed a little more than 10 pounds. It took about 40 years to grow to their full stature, which was about 26 feet tall, and they were 121 feet long, which is as long as three school buses. But they also weighed 100 tons, which is about as much as 12 African elephants. In order to sustain their size, they would have needed 100,000 calories a day, which is about 2,127 apples. Perhaps the most impressive feat this animal could do was rise up and stand on its back feet. If some unlucky dinosaur, even huge carnivores, were to get underfoot, they'd be crushed to death. Number 5. Fastest Predator The fastest known dinosaurs are believed to be a part of a group of theropod dinosaurs called Ornithomimids. One of the most famous subspecies is the Gallimimus bellatus, which are the ostrich-like dinosaurs in the first Jurassic Park. It's believed they could run 50 miles per hour. However, it's unclear if the toothless dinosaur ate meat, so they aren't exactly terrifying. A dinosaur that was fast and terrifying was the Carnotaurus sastri, which means meat-eating bull. It got its name because of the bull-like horns on its head, which it would have used to fight other dinosaurs for mates and territory. Also, unlike the Gallimimus, the Carnotosaurus was a pretty big animal. They were 13 feet tall, nearly 30 feet long, and weighed up to 2 tons. Despite being huge animals, they were incredibly fast thanks to their massive thighs, which were up to 15% of their body weight. According to calculations, they would have been able to reach speeds of 40 miles per hour. It would be like trying to outrun a car that is driving over the speed limit on a city street. Number 4. Maposauruses, the large carnivores that hunted in packs Knowing how dinosaurs behaved is kind of difficult, because the only thing that researchers have to base their guesses on are fossil clues that are millions of years old. They can't just go out into the wild and observe them. That is one reason why we don't definitely know if dinosaurs hunted in packs. While there is some evidence to suggest that a few species did live in packs, it's unclear if pack hunting among carnivores was common or not. However, one large carnivore that may have been a pack animal is the Maposaurus. Researchers believe this because in a quarry in Patagonia, they found more than half a dozen Maposaurus bones. This would suggest that they at least lived together when they died. This would have been bad for potential prey because a Maposaurus would have been dangerous enough to encounter one-on-one. -on -one. For one thing, they were bigger than T-Rexes. They were nearly 41 feet long, 13 feet tall, and weighed about 8 tons. It's believed that they lived together in order to take down the biggest dinosaur that lived in that era, the Argentinosaurus, which weighed 10 times more than the Maposaurus. Number 3. The Utah Raptor was bigger and scarier than the Velociraptor. According to the Jurassic Park franchise, Velociraptors were six foot tall dinosaurs that hunted in packs. As intimidating as they were on screen, they were nothing like that in real life. While it's possible they hunted in packs, they weren't nearly the size depicted in the movie. They were more like the size of a small turkey, at most, they were six feet long from nose to tail and weighed up to 33 pounds. Instead, the movie Velociraptors are based on the Deinonychus, which lived on Earth over 25 million years earlier than the Velociraptor. It was about 3 feet tall and had a large hook claw on its foot. What's amazing is that in the same month that the first Jurassic Park movie was released, the description of the biggest raptor ever found, called the Utah Raptor, was published, and it was similar in size to Jurassic Park's raptors. The Utah Raptor was about 23 feet long and about 6 feet tall, and they weighed 1,100 pounds. They also had toe talons, which were 9.5 inches long. It would be used to tear flesh and hold down prey while they chomped down on it. Number 2. The Biggest Carnivore one reason that the dinosaurs have captured the imaginations of millions of people around the world is because they seem like real-life monsters. After all, that's why the Jurassic Park franchise is so popular. Usually, the T-Rex is billed as the most terrifying of these monsters. However, it wasn't the biggest one. Unless other fossils are found, the current title for biggest carnivorous dinosaur goes to the Spinosaurus, which was the antagonist in Jurassic Park 3. There are at least two different subspecies of the Spinosaurus, and they lived about 112 million to 97 million years ago in the swamps of North America. While researchers know that the Spinosaurus was huge, bigger than both the T-Rex and the Gigantosaurus, they aren't exactly sure how big it was because there are only incomplete fossils. On the low end, they would have been about 40 feet, but according to some projections, they could have been 59 feet long and weighed 7.7 .7 to 9.9 .9 tons. That's as big as one and a half school buses. They also had massive chests, so it's likely that they spent most of their time in the water, similar to a crocodile. 
Besides its awesome size, the most notable feature of the Spinosaurus is its bony sail on its back. In fact, that is where the beasts get their name, Spine Lizard. The sails were seven feet long, and no one is exactly sure what they were for. The Spinosaurus would have been the top predator because of its size, yet it would have used it to make itself look even bigger. Others suggest that it was for mating. Number 1. Why the T-Rex is King of the Dinosaurs The Tyrannosaurus rex lived in the late Cretaceous period about 65 to 70 million years ago in modern western North America, from Alberta to Texas, although there is some speculation that they were an invasive species from Asia. Their fossils were discovered in 1903, and in 1905 it was given its name, which means King of the Tyrant Lizards. While it is not the biggest or fastest dinosaur, or even the largest carnivore for that matter, the T-Rex is the most famous and feared dinosaur. And there is good reason for that, because you probably wouldn't want to come across one in real life. According to the most complete fossil, Sue, which is found at the Field Museum of Natural History, at its highest point, which is its hip because it walked hunched over, T-Rexes could be about 13 feet tall and 40 feet long. They also weighed about 9 tons. Despite their tremendous size, they would reach speeds of 10 to 25 miles per hour. According to the National Council on Strength and Fitness, on average, humans can run 15 miles per hour in short spurts. Needless to say, if you just so happen to encounter a T-Rex, you better hope you're on the faster side and the projections about T-Rex are correct on the slower end of that particular spectrum, because they had the strongest bite out of any land predator that ever lived. It could reach up to 12,814 pounds of force, which is about as much force as a medium-sized elephant taking a seat. Inside the mouth was a terrifying set of teeth. They were up to a foot long and serrated. However, they weren't exactly sharp. They were wide and slightly dull. This was a way to deal with prey that was fighting against their death in the T-Rex's mouth. They also had multiple types of teeth that all served different functions. The fronts were used to hold and pull prey, the teeth on the side tore flesh, and then the back teeth diced the flesh and forced it down the T-Rex's throat. So I really hope you found those dinosaur facts terrifying. If you did, please do hit that like button below. And don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day of the week, just like this one. Also, some of our other videos are over there on the right. Be sure to click on and check those out if you are looking for something else to watch. And thank you for watching.